Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today I am going to talk about the UV yellow circuit that means under voltage lockout circuit for battery application, right? So let us say if you are using a rechargeable battery in your product, uh, you, are, you are using lithium ion battery and which says that the minimum minimum cutoff voltage for lithium and battery is 3 volt and that means your 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 battery should not discharge below the minimum discharge voltage right so let us consider the case where you have got your lithium and battery and you want to avoid the deep discharge of your lithium ion battery uh, let's say you you don't want to discharge your battery below 3 volt in that case you you have to implement a circuit called uh, called under voltage lockout circuit or uv yellow circuit right so so in the same time you have to also take care that while while your circuit is in under voltage lockout condition your battery battery have very less sleep mode currents or discharge current so that it lasts for a longer time so this circuit is designed to meet, meet the particular requirement of under voltage lockout circuit to avoid the deep discharge of the battery right so this is the objective of the today's video so now let us understand first this circuit how this circuit is implemented how this circuit works and then i will sh run the simulation and i will show you the exact behavior of this circuit right the exact behavior of this circuit what happens if the if the battery voltage is 3 volt what happens if the battery voltage is 3.1 volt and what happens if the battery voltage is 4.2 volt let us say your operating range for any product is 3 to 4.2 volt so in that particular case uh, let us understand this circuit first okay so you can see here uh, here uh, this is u1 that is operational amplifier that is lt1495 you have to choose you have to choose each and every component very precisely right you have to choose each and every component very precisely to avoid to avoid the the discharge current while battery in ev uv yellow condition okay so let us let us calculate the power budget how how much power it, it consumes how much current it consumes when when this circuit is operating in the uv yellow condition right under voltage lockout condition let us consider this circuit is designed for designed for 4.5 micro ampere current when it is in uv yellow condition okay so you have to choose each and every component very precisely let us say if you are choosing your operational amplifier you have to you have to look that the the standby current for this lt1495 should be very less that could be nano ampere or micro ampere so few micro ampere right so likewise you have to choose the component very precisely here so this is lt1495 you may go and have a look of data sheet how much is its standby current or uh, the quotient current right then this is the shunt regulator ic uh, lt1389 uh, which gives 1.25 volt 25 volt uh, 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 stable reference output right and here you can see we have one mosfet uh, the selection of the mosfet you can choose based on your load current right based on the your load current i randomly took this mosfet this mosfet for 
to demonstrate this circuit even i haven't gone through the data sheet of this mosfet what is the vgs value and what is the drain current value okay so so this mosfet selection is very critical based on your particular application you can choose this mosfet right then you can see here now let us talk about first this circuit how this circuit works so at the positive positive side you can see here you have a stable difference plus r1 and this is r2 so so the voltage across the positive terminal of an operational amplifier op amp is uh, 1.25 1.25 volt plus r1 into current flowing through the r1 okay so voltage across this node let us say this is node b so voltage across let me demonstrate here this is node b right so let us say this is node b and let us say this is node a for explanation node a and node b right i will use node a and node b okay so let us say let us say now the voltage across node b that is vv is equals to 1.25 volt plus r1 into current flowing through this r1 and if you want to calculate the current flowing through r1 you have to calculate uh, let's say the lockout voltage 3 volt minus this reference voltage 1.25 divided by r2 plus r1 you can find the current flowing through the r1 and you can find the voltage drop across the r1 so the vv is equals to 1.25 volt plus vr1 that means voltage across this resistor so the vv appears at non inverting terminal of an op amp let us now talk about the inverting terminal of an op amp this is a so this is simple we have we have voltage divider here okay we have r3 and r4 resistance and we have voltage divider based on the battery voltage based on the battery voltage uh, it's uh, its output changes here va so voltage at inverting terminal is let us say va based on the battery voltage it changes and at the output of an op amp we have a uh, we have a re series resistance for the for the mosfet gate driver right and if you are thinking why do i need r6 right so it is not connected in a proper manner so let me connect here let me connect here here this is the correct circuit i made something wrong here so if you want to think why why do we need r6 here i will explain the the application of r6 r why do we need r6 here okay so this is basically you you can see here your positive terminal of an op amp has fixed regulator okay a fixed shunt a uh, regulator that means you have some reference voltage here that is fixed and your negative terminal of an open is variable input voltage so how this this is basically a comparator with hysteresis so r6 is used for the hysteresis so if the voltage across vv that means plus terminal is greater than the voltage across the minus terminal your output is high whenever your output is high here the v out here at at the mosfet output is low whenever your vb is less than va that means the voltage at plus terminal is less than the voltage at minus terminal so your output of an operational amplifier is low whenever this is low the gate of the mosfet observe low voltage and at that point of time your v out is high okay so this is basically basically working a com comparator with hysteresis okay now let me run the transient analysis and uh, uh, let me show you the behavior of this circuit right so you have to click it here this is run button so click it here and go maybe go here this is tile window vertically you have two window here okay you have two window so uh, you, you may divide this into two plot pen one for one for input and one for output so this is the input here 
so let us click it here this is the input so you can see your input is changing from 2.95 volt to 4.2 volt here in your input we have 2.95 volt and here here uh, 4.2 volt that means your input signal is ramping from 2.95 volt to 4.2 volt and let me click it here and let us see the behavior of output signal so you can see here you can see here at uh, so let me uh, place the cursor here so it is around it is around uh, 3.3.0 Zero five or zero nine here. As long as the input voltage is three a uh, below three volt, there is a no output at V naught here. You can see this is V naught. So there is no output at V naught. And as soon as as soon as your input v voltage increases beyond three volt, even let us think for three point zero volt here, three point zero volt here. you can see as long as your input voltage is increases here this is 3.1 volt somewhere if i uh, try to draw a vertical line from here to here maybe it's not correct but we can make a assumption so as as soon as your input voltage is 3.1 volt uh, your your output is your output is high okay so your output is high and now at this point of time uh, whenever your input voltage is above 3 volt your output follow your output follow the characteristic of characteristic of your input signal or input voltage right so this circuit is widely used in the uh, industry to protect the lithium ion battery uh, from the deep discharge right from the deep discharge to have better charging profile and uh, better longer longer life of the lead, lithium ion battery meantime you have to very uh, sure about the component selection you have to use very precise component the the tolerances for this resistance r3 and r4 r2 and r1 uh, r5 and r6 can be very precise and it could be in the in the percentage of 0.1% okay so this circuit here is only demonstrated for the educational purpose right so hope you understood how under voltage lockout circuit work for the battery application if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video